Hello and welcome to SL Productions and my review to Doctor Who Series 11, Episode 9, It Takes You Away, the penultimate episode of Series 11 of Doctor Who. This episode was written by Ed Heim and just broadcast on BBC One and BBC One HD. So yes, what was my overall thoughts on this episode as a whole? So personally, I thought this episode got off to a good start. It did have a bit of a dip in the middle of this episode. I thought it got really silly with the limbo between the two realities i thought that was really fake but at the end i thought it got a lot better so yeah it kept it was here then it went down to here and then it went up to here again so yes it wasn't like the witch finders which went from here to here so yes what was the plot of this episode so yes the episode opens with the doctor and her companions arriving in rural norway there they come across this house where there's this blind girl inside and her dad has vanished her dad is no longer there because her dad, it turns out, he's gone through this mirror portal between two realities. One reality is our reality, well, not our reality, but the Hooniverse, the main Hooniverse. And then it leads through to another reality, which is this conscious universe, it's this living universe in a way. And it is creating dead people, including this man's wife and Bradley Walsh's wife as well, to lure the living into that universe because it wants to be more like our universe so yes basically they get into this universe and then they end up defeating it and yeah they end up defeating this frog which yeah i'll get onto the frog soon so yes that was basically the main plot of this episode there's a lot more to the plot so yeah please watch the episode or watch someone else's review who puts more time and effort into doing their reviews so yes what did i like about this episode so yes, the first thing I liked about this episode was the setting. I thought the setting for this story was very good. Loved the Norwegian setting for this story. Thought it had a very sci-fi feel about it, the setting, as well as the whole story. I thought this story was very sci-fi in a way, especially after they got out of the limbo world and into the alternative world. That just felt really sci-fi for me. It felt more like a sci-fi show, if you know what I mean, even though Doctor Who is one of the most sci-fi shows you get, it just felt very sci-fi, just the whole thing felt sci-fi, even though it wasn't in space, it just felt sci-fi, and yeah, you probably don't know what I mean, but anyway, moving on, the alternative reality concept I really enjoyed as well, I did, I do really like stories set in alternative realities, I find it all really interesting, especially with the conscious universe, I thought that is a great idea for a Doctor Who story and yeah really did like the alternative reality setting for this story music as well like the music of this story for the music had a lot of variety to it more than the previous few episodes which the music has been very similar throughout so yeah the music in this story was there was a lot of variety to the music i think i noticed that there were a few different tunes and stuff like that there still wasn't as much variety as when murray gold was around but it was an improvement from the previous episodes. So yes, did like the music in this episode. Also, the effects. I really did like the mirror effects. I thought they were an improvement from the Witchfinders and Kaplan. The CGI was better there. But what did I not like about this episode? So the first thing I didn't like was the frog. The frog, in my opinion, the talking frog, it was laughable. I could not take that frog seriously. I think it was meant to be comedic, but it just didn't work for me. The mouth, it didn't move were in sync with the voice. It just, I couldn't take it seriously. You might have been able to take it seriously, but in my opinion, I couldn't take the frog seriously. And the second thing was the moths. The moths were laughable as well. The design of the moths, they reminded me of Wizards vs. Aliens, which was created by Russell T. Davis, and wasn't as good effects as to Savage End Adventures, even though that was like five years before the first series of that. So yes, it reminded me of that. I did enjoy Wizards vs. Aliens, but of course that was on CBBC with a low budget. But it was like with the moths, it was like they'd run out of money, because the moths were really pathetic i think the moths were awful the design of the moths they just looked fake in my opinion and also the limbo world i just didn't enjoy the limbo world scenes for this story with that little alien thing which reminded me a bit of tim shaw i just didn't like the alien i thought the alien was a bit comedic and not being able to take it seriously i just didn't like the monster as well there wasn't really a threat for this episode so yes didn't like that as well and my final negative was the accent of the little girl it seemed to change a lot yes i've got to give her credit because she's young 
but the accent was a bit confusing in some places. Good acting, it was just the accent which you should improve on. So yes, that is the end of my review. I personally rate this episode, I would say an 8 out of 10. At the beginning of this story, it was an 8 out of 10, and then once it got to the Limbo World scenes, it probably dipped to a 4 out of 10. But then in the last 10 minutes, it went up, it went up. The Talking Frog did bring it down again, but I would say an 8 out of 10. So yes, that is the end of my review, and moving on to my episode preview for Doctor Who, Series 11, Episode 10, The Battle of Azkapal, or something like that. So yes, that is the end of my review, and moving on. So yes, the last episode preview for Doctor Who, Series 11. I will be previewing Doctor Who, Series 11, Episode 10, The Battle of Rans... Ranscore Av Coloss. I hope I pronounced that right. Ranscore Av Coloss. I'm just going to call it the Battle of Coloss because the middle bit is a bit confusing. So, yes, the Battle of Coloss. What is this episode about? So, according to the Doctor Who magazine, which I did find by the way, it says this year's season finale is approaching. It's going to be emotional, says Chris Chibnall. That is basically all I know about this episode. This episode features Mark Addy, who was in the Full Monty, yeah, not Full Monty, not Monty Python, and he also was Robert Baratheon in Game of Thrones. Yeah, Game of Thrones, great show, please go and check it out if you already haven't. There's a lot of myths about Game of Thrones, like characters die every episode and there's loads of routines, but it is better than people say it is. So yes, I'd recommend you go and check out Game of Thrones. It is violent, so if you don't like violence, I don't like violence, but if you're really against violence, I wouldn't advise watching Game of Thrones. So yes, hopefully this episode will be good. It doesn't I don't think it's going to be a season finale like other season finales, as there hasn't really been an arc for this series, but I bet it's going to be a big episode. Hopefully there's some action in this episode. There was a bit of action and it takes you away, but I think this episode should have more action, as I really do like action scenes in Doctor Who episodes. It is a rare occasion in Doctor Who episodes, but I do like action scenes within Doctor Who. So yes, that is the end of my episode preview, the last episode preview. I know I said at the beginning of the series I would be previewing and reviewing every episode and I have cheated in a way by sticking my preview onto the end of the reviews. I won't admit it but I don't do them because they don't get very high views. So yes, until the next time, goodbye!